Buckmeister Village, your boy Buckmeister, twice the nice that you are used to show. Clemson, and today we are talking Marvel What If, episode 5. So hi, if you're new here, my name is Buckmeister Cool from Meister Geek Media. I talk all sorts of geek media from the comic books and superheroes to animes and the sci-fis and all of that good stuff. So please feel free to hit that subscribe button and that bell button so you never miss a video. So, Marvel What If Episode 5, in other words, the third entry in the most depressing thing I've ever seen in this Marvel What If universe, oh my gosh, but I guess, hey, that's the charm of it, right? Yeah, so, as you saw in the promos, we get zombies, yes, yeah, so zombies galore, this was a lot funnier in the beginning than I thought. And I know a lot of people are going to be talking about the inconsistent tone of this episode. I'm going to be doing a spoiler episode on my podcast, The Geek Men, so shoot the shit, so subscribe for that. But, um, yeah, there's the whole thing of there's a lot of the jokey jokes, there's a lot of, you know, little quips and little things here and there and all of that stuff. And, yeah, I, I mean... You know, I understand, because it is Marvel 1, but also the characters who are making the quips, I guess. Because you can argue, you can counter-argue. I mean, I had to think about it after watching the episode, because I was just like, I'm not really sure where I fall on this episode. But as I was thinking about it, the characters who are making the jokes, the characters who are doing the things, they are the characters that do those types of things in the comic books, and it's their personality, so I understand. But there was, like, other characters who were, you know, there was other characters who were, like, you know a little bit immature for me i guess in this episode maybe not immature is the word i'm just not like it didn't feel like it all meshed together perfectly like a hundred percent like say in episode four of what marvel what if where everything kind of felt like it gelled together this one it didn't feel like every element was working but there was a lot of elements that were working yeah people aren't really like you know people aren't really you know, freaking out, I guess, the way I would expect them to freak out, because, like, yeah, the way the episode opens up, like, you know, in the beginning, characters are just like, oh my god, you're a zombie, it's not like, oh my, we are, what the, <laughs> for lack of a better term, that's what I was expecting at the beginning of this episode. But yeah, as we get towards, like, the end of the episode, it does get a lot more profound, it does get a lot more sad, and yeah, you start feeling a lot of things. So I guess it kind of balanced itself out. It was still a good episode for me. It was still it was still a good episode. Uh, Marvel What If Episode 2 still being my favorite, uh, objectively speaking. But like this one was still a good episode. And the action is pretty sparse in this. I didn't... Yeah, there wasn't, a, uh, there wasn't as much action as the previous Marvel What If episodes. I was expecting more. But I understand. And, um, yeah, like, you get to, like, the interactions between the characters are also, they're also pretty good, I think. Like, like, the, the Ant Woman and, uh, Mar and Spider-Man, they have a pretty good chemistry going on there, which was pretty nice to see, and all of that stuff. And the origin of the whole thing was, was kind of a downer as well, and, uh, yeah, I, 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 I just think that there are some elements of it that didn't really 100% come together for me while there were other elements that came together for me pretty well. So yeah, all in all, it's a mixed bag, but I didn't feel like this was supposed to be the horror episode. I didn't feel a lot of horror. I wasn't scared watching this, I guess, but I mean, you know, it's a cartoon and it's the Avengers. So I don't know how scared I would be, but like they tried to do uh, a couple jump scares here and there. And I'm a person that gets jump scared very easily. I just didn't get jump scared here. So yeah, it's a it's 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 an interesting one though. But I I do I and also the ending is horrible. <laughs> Not horrible as in bad. Horrible as in the implications that it has for this particular universe. Anyway, it's just like wow, that sucks. Um. So what do we do now? <laughs> I also just wanted to touch on uh, Bucky for a bit because he's a prominent character in this episode and he's a bit of a sociopath but I, I guess given the circumstances especially with the way that the episode kind of unfolds it makes sense like he's very much more a winter soldier here than he's ever been but like he's still retaining like his freedom so it's it's becoming a cognitive choice so I thought that was pretty interesting because like the way he reacts to certain things, things that should be very big, he doesn't really react to them. Like, you know, I guess that soldier PTSD stuff kicking in. 
but he's still got enough cognitive function to understand what an enemy is and what a friend is. But yeah, he was a robot in this, and I found it very interesting that he was. So there you have it, those are my thoughts on Marvel What If Episode 5. So what do you think, guys? Right? Let me know in the comment section down below. Please, no spoilers and all of that stuff. And if you are at this point in the video, I want to say thank you so much for getting to this point in the video. You are spectacular. Now, if you really like this video, I got another one up here. I got a playlist down there and I got an icon you can click on to subscribe. Remember to ring the bell if you do subscribe and I see you all in another video. The last man's got to be out. Peace.